be teaching this class right now. Um, I'm actually doing it for my team. I told them I'd lead them through an aroma yoga class. I've been promising them for a while. So I figured I would actually just throw it up on Instagram as well. So hello friends, um, anybody who's out there. So this is an aroma yoga class, okay? It's going to be a very slow flow class. I have lights on as you can see right now, but obviously I would encourage you all to dim your lights. I want you to go grab some oils if you have them. If you do not, no worries, we can run you through it without it. But I, I encourage you to go grab some oils. Frankincense, lavender, and stress away, okay, would be my first couple. Then also peace and calming and valor. And last but not least, sacred mountain and white angelica. And I'm gonna walk you through about a 30 minute class tonight on how to use oils to increase and to help us slow down. Now remember the one thing, what do we have, we always have with us is our breath, okay? So I'm actually gonna take, so I have a little bottle here. I have frankincense, excuse me, frankincense, lavender and stress away mixed together. So I'm going to pour a couple drops into my hand, nothing crazy, rub my hands together and start breathing. So we have our breath with us at all times. Obviously, I'm going to take my hands away. As you guys start to put the oils into your hand and rub your hands together, I want you to start taking big breaths. Close your eyes and start taking big breaths in through your nose with your hands cupped over. Breathe all the way in and really draw everything up, 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 filling all those lungs all the way up so you can't get any more. Sip a little bit more and then exhale, release, let it all go. Let's do that again. Inhale, close your eyes. Breathe all the way in with your oils. Sip a little bit more. Exhale, release, let it go. Now remember your lungs are really big. They come all the way down with your rib cages. Really make sure that you're pushing all of those, those toxins, all of that air back out so we can replenish again. Let's do that three more times. Inhale. Exhale, release and let it go. Inhale again and with every inhale, <clears throat> as you guys start to take bigger breaths, really use those oils to breathe into them, holding at the top. Exhale, release and let it go. I want you to do that twice more on your own and I'm gonna to talk to you about something. So when you add essential oils into your yoga practice, it takes <clears throat> less than 20 seconds for them to actually, these are pure great essential oils, for them to actually start to change your mood and what's happening around you, okay? That's 20 seconds. Within 20 minutes of inhalation or putting them on your hands, they're in every cell of your body, okay? So you're getting to have the amazing goodness of the essential oil as you breathe it in and start to slow down your breath, making sure you're taking that big breath, you're slowing down your respiratory system. You have the vagus nerve that goes, one of your vagus nerves that goes to the back of your neck all the way down. And when you're actually doing breath, it's impossible to be in a stress space, okay? That's why we always talk about so much breath in yoga. So we're incorporating really breathing, adding the essential oils that is an extra benefit, and then going from there. Again, dim your lights. <clears throat> Let's take one big unifying together. Exhale, release, and let it go. Now, normally in this practice, I would be coming around if I was in a studio and actually putting the oils on you. Um, I guess you could say it would be anointing you. <clears throat> Excuse me not from a religious standpoint, but actually it's just nice to have someone do that for you. But obviously we're all together in our spaces and we have to work with what we can work with. So what I want you to start with first, okay, is we're gonna talk about our crown chakra, which is on the top of our head. I want you to take Sacred Mountain. Now, if you don't have Sacred Mountain, I want you just to reach for something around you. Sacred Mountain has a lot of um, like woodsy, deep smells. A lot of men really like it. It's very, very grounding but I actually love it on the top of my head. As I've mentioned a couple times, your head is a, diff a human diffuser, okay? So I have both my diffusers going behind me. They both have peace and calming in there, so I thought it was appropriate. And I just take a couple drops and I stick on the crown of my head. Now, I do the, this throughout the course of the day, but when you take something like Sacred Mountain or whatever you have, you're rubbing the top of your head, okay? It's gonna sink into your crown chakra, really making sure you keep that connection between the crown of your head 
all the way up. And then it's all over your hands. So again, <clears throat> we're putting oils around us, and we're breathing them in, we're putting them on our bodies and we're breathing with them. Cup your hands over your nose and really smell in as you take that breath, everything. And see how it changes your body. Do you feel more relaxed? The breath is definitely going to relax you. Remember that is our tool. We have it everywhere and at any time you can always stop and take five breaths. But adding in these oils, starts to change more than just that. It can actually change your mood. If you think about it, when you were younger, if you go to your grandmother's house and she was baking cookies or pie, or if you go to a spa and they have something in the background, they're setting a mood, they're setting space, right? They're creating an atmosphere for you. You using essential oils is creating your own atmosphere in whatever space you want. So not only do you have your breath, but you also have at any time, you could reach for an oil, you have 20 seconds, 30 seconds, even maybe to be very generous to yourself, a minute to breathe, okay? So you're getting the oils put into your body, you smell amazing, so every time I go with my hair throughout the course of the day, I can smell myself, and it smells so good. All right, so let's bring our hands to our heart center. You wanna push your thumbs into your chest, pushing your hands, your right into your left, and your left into your right, really pushing your palms together. Sit up straight on those sit bones. Cross your legs to a space that feels comfortable. Let's take a big unifying breath in. Exhale, release, and let it go. I want you to draw your feet out in front of you. Flex those toes back towards your face. Okay, breathe it in again. Breathe in that sacred mountain or whatever you have on your hands. Exhale, release, and let it go. Flexing those toes back towards your face, okay? If you can drop your knees down, that's fantastic. And then draw your arms up in space. We wanna make sure I'm gonna scoot back so you guys can see me a little bit more. Just won't see my face. You wanna put your thumbs out, out, pinky fingers are in, and you wanna frame your ears. And what you wanna do, and I've taught a lot of yoga today, so I, feel, I look a little cockeyed. We need to take our arms from being way up here, draw our scapulas, our shoulder blades down our backs. So we wanna draw them down and then bring them together, really opening up. Okay, we want to open up our chest. Taking a big breath in. Exhale, release, and let it go. And then I want you to take your right palm down to your thigh. Take your left hand and draw it over your body. Okay? We're going to do some simple twists to really open up our spine. We've been doing lots of sitting. Our psoas muscle has been very constricted throughout this time because I'm guessing more people are sitting than normal. Um, and we need to make sure that we work all these muscles. So we're gonna do some twists to our lower spine. So put our right hand, palm on our thigh, twist over to the left-hand side, keeping everything engaged. You really wanna keep those legs engaged, your toes face, facing back towards your face, sitting high in those sit bones, and just twist slightly, wherever feels good for you. Maybe you can look to the side, maybe you can tilt so you're actually drawing your shoulder blade back behind you. As you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. I love having the diffusers going because it actually just sets more of a space. I can smell them. Breathe it all in. Exhale, come back to center. And then switch out your palms, right palm. You're gonna switch over, flexing those toes back. Really engage those legs so much that you're actually, <clears throat> excuse me, your heels are flexing off the mat. As you twist, open up, feeling that lower spine extend and you're lengthening and strengthening as you gaze over your shoulder and behind. Inhale, come back to your center. Draw your hands to your heart center again and slowly with control, roll back onto your spine. We're gonna continue to wake up our spines a little bit more. So draw your right knee in towards your chest flexing your left toe. And I want you to take that right knee and draw it over your body for a simple supine twist. Your right knee is going over your body. You can use your hand. Most importantly, I want you to keep both of your shoulders connected to the earth and gaze over your right palm. Letting your leg just hang there in space. Don't worry about where that is. If you feel more comfortable, you can take your toes and clip them behind your left leg as a little kickstand but really making sure that right shoulder blade is connected to the earth because you're feeling that twist from your navel and below. And gazing over that right palm. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. Whew. 
slowly come back to center. Switch out your legs. Take your left knee into your armpit, give it a little bit of squeeze. And then exhale, supine twist, draw your knee over your body. Really anchor that left shoulder into the mat and gaze over your left hand. As you twist, you will exhale. As you exhale, you will be able to twist more, relaxing your spine, strengthening and lengthening. Really make sure you're using your breath. And then come back to center. We're gonna move on to happy baby. So I'm gonna turn sideways. <clears throat> So I want you to plant those heels up towards the sky. And I want you to reach your hands for anywhere. Oh, my hair smells so good. I love Sacred Mountain. I want you to reach for anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Now this can be a big hip opener for people. Again, we were talking about, you can reach the outside of your thighs, your calves, your feet, wherever feels good. Just draw your knees down, really opening up. Take any last minute wiggles. Making sure to keep your head, your shoulders, your back all on the mat, keeping that connection. Drawing knees down a little bit more, opening up. And then slowly bring your knees together. I'm gonna to rock and roll the strength and length of our spine up to a seat. Come back to the center. I want you to flip over. <clears throat> Planting your palms into the mat for your tabletop. Letting your toenails be loose. Hold no tension in them. Really stacking your shoulders over your wrists and taking your fingers and planting them into the earth. Making sure they're really engaged. And your knuckles you're really planting in. Again, draw your head up. You want one line of energy coming from the crown of your head through your tailbone. And then Push your space away so you're creating space between your shoulders and your ears. Draw your navel up towards your spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. Take a big inhale. Draw that navel up. Exhale, release, and let it go. Inhale to cow. Drop your belly down. Draw your chest through, gaze up. And then exhale to cat. Pushing your shoulder blades apart from each other, creating that space, gazing back towards your thighs, creating that arch in your back. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale, into cat. And start taking this movement on your own. As you do that, feel free to do a C curve. You're moving your body from side to side. Maybe rolling your neck out to get any cranks. Or rocking forward and back, whatever feels good in space for you. Remember, this is your practice. And it is late. This is a time to almost use yoga as your meditation for the evening, to set your space with your oils. Come back to your tabletop. Tuck those toes under. Give yourself a big inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push those palms into the mat. You really want to make sure <clears throat> to magnetize your heels towards the mat, but you might need a big bend in your knees in order to do that. You want to make sure that your chest is between your hands. You want to open up that front line of your body. So making sure that your chest, your head, is everything's between your arms. So you're pushing back into space like that, really opening up, squeezing everything together in the back line. And then feel free to go ahead and strain those legs. Well, I'm definitely a little stiff. Walk your legs out from left to right. And then come back to stability, pushing through those palms. Take a big breath in. Exhale, ragdoll. Walk to the front of your mat. So I like to take my feet more than hip distance apart, take it to the edge of the mat, whatever feels good for you. And we have a big, generous bend. You want to make sure that your chest is connected to your thighs, okay? You want to have that connection. 
and no tension in your neck. Let everything go, okay? If you can straighten your legs from here, fantastic. Otherwise, just keep them bent. You wanna keep that connection. You have options to take your right hand into your left elbow and rock from side to side. Or you can drop your fingertips to the mat, whatever feels good. Just make sure you let that head be heavy. Like gravity do its job, opening up the back line of your body and your hamstrings. Letting those exhales go. Come back to center, tend your fingertips on the mat and toe heel your feet together, slowly with control. You want your big toes to touch a sliver of air between your heels and slowly draw your navel up towards your spine. Hold it there, squeeze everything towards your midline, your ankles, your knees, your calves, and slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae to come to a standing posture. <sighs> okay, everything smells so good. I'm so relaxed. Okay, I hope you guys have the lights off and you're enjoying um, just kind of your space, setting your mood for yourself. Draw your hands out in front of you, palms facing towards <clears throat> your computer. Thumbs are out and your pinky fingers are closest to your body. I want you to draw, take a big inhale, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, peel them down your spine, opening up through that chest. Again, one more time, inhale, come up towards your ears. Exhale, peel them and open them back down. And draw your hands to your heart center again, your right to your left and your left to your right, pushing that thumb into your chest, feel your heartbeat. Close your eyes, set the intention of relaxing, of being present, of letting everything that's happened prior to you showing up today, let it all go. This is your space, create your own Zen. Take a big inhale, exhale, release and let it go. Inhale to mountain, draw your hands high, thumbs out, pinky fingers in, squeeze everything towards that midline. You're holding, making sure that you breathe you can challenge yourself by closing your eyes for balance. Exhale, open arm twist. Draw your right palm back, your left hand forward. Now you can bend your right back palm, making sure that both your hips are shining towards the front of the room. Everything else is twisting from your navel above. This is all facing forward. Really opening up, so gaze over your right shoulder. Maybe all the way twisting to the back of the room. Whatever feels good, opening that, making sure you're not bringing your shoulder up. You want to draw it away from your ear. Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Drop those shoulders away. Around, excuse me, drop those shoulders down. Thumbs out, pinky fingers in. Exhale, open arm twist, right hand forward, the left is back. Again, your hips are facing towards the front. They're like headlights. Everything else is twisting towards the side of the room or maybe behind you, whatever feels good. And honoring the fact that each side of your body is different. Every day it feels different. So you wanna respect that. Inhale, come back to center for mountain. Exhale, baby back bend. So cactus out those arms, really engage those hands, okay? You want your elbows in line with your shoulders. Squeeze your hips and glutes together. As you lean back slightly, pushing those hips forward, keeping your chin, gazing up towards the ceiling. Don't drop it down to your neck. Stay strong. Inhale back to mountain. And exhale forward fold, hinge at your hips. Let it all go. Take a moment to really shake out that head from left to right, have no tension. Inhale to halfway lift, really drawing your shoulder blades down your back and together, creating that connection. Navel up towards your spine. Exhale to high plank. Again, stacking those shoulders over your wrists, coming high onto the ball mounts of your toes, really holding everything in one plane. Draw your head up, keeping that one line of energy. We'll hold here. And now slowly with control, lower down to your mat. Whew. Okay. Release your hands 
<clears throat> down by your mat for a moment and take one of your hands, excuse me, and smell it. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release and let it go. You can't smell anymore. Take your hand and rub it through your hair. You'll probably be able to smell it that way. Now draw your palms down next to you. <clears throat> your fingers are facing forward. Thumbs are close to your uh, rib cage and squeeze them together like a grasshopper. Again, you want to squeeze together and down, creating that space. We're going to inhale to baby cobra. Lifting high, you want to squeeze so much that your, th your knees pop off the ground. Okay, pushing those toenails into the mat. Lift a little bit higher. Maybe bring those fingers off the mat. Exhale, release, and let it go. Draw your right cheek down to the mat. Let your arms relax for a minute. Let the ground support you. Feel your heartbeat beating into the ground. All right, let's do it one more time. Draw your hands back. Forehead towards the mat. Inhale to baby cobra. Squeeze everything together. Arms together and down your back. Engaging those arms. Keeping your neck in a line with your body. Keeping your gaze down. Lift a little higher. Exhale, release, and let it go. Draw your head to the opposite side. Maybe draw your legs up and windshield wiper them from left to right. Breathing a little bit of that pressure in your lower spine. It feels good. And then pushing through our palms back into child's pose. Separating your knees a distance apart. Really elongating those hands in front of you. Maybe tent them up, whatever feels good. Drawing your head down towards the mat. Connecting your heels to your glutes. Surrendering into the space. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release, and let it go. Inhale, back up to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw those scapulas together. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale to chair. So I want everyone to take a moment. Squeeze your legs together, right? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You want to make sure you're pushing your knees back over your ankles. All the weight is in your feet. You should be able to pick your toes up off the mat. Tucking your tailbone under, navels back towards your spine. Hands are framing your ears. Again, thumbs up, pinky fingers in. Sit low. Exhale, chair plane. Draw those hands back in space. Okay, engage those triceps. Thumbs up, pinkies in. Squeeze them tight. Inhale the chair. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Relax, let your head go heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to high plank. And hold. Stacking those shoulders. Then slowly lower down to a low plank, hovering off the mat. Inhale to upward facing dog. Draw your chest through, flip those toes. Draw your chest broad, opening it up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Take a moment here to stack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your hips in alignment with each other, making sure you're not tilting up, really flexing those toes back, keeping them together in alignment. <clears throat> and then exhale, low lunge, draw your foot through between your two palms. Making sure you have the correct stacking of your knees over your ankles and your back leg is engaged, squeezing everything together so you're stable. You should be able to support yourself without leaning on anything. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inhale to simple twist, draw your left palm down, right hand goes high up to the sky. Making sure as you peel open, you're removing, trying to move your space, you want space between your stomach and your thigh as you twist, reaching high up into the sky. Don't sink low into your arm, reach, reach high. Exhale to low lunge. 
Inhale, warrior two, spin open. Creating that stack, your knee over your ankle. Drawing your hands out. Everything is facing towards the screen. Really engage that front leg. Take a big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. So reach, reach, reach. Oh, I'm tired. Exhale. <clears throat> Open it up. You really want to draw as opposed to sinking low. You want to open up, twisting everything, stacking those shoulders, reaching high towards the sky. If you can touch the ground, that's fantastic. But really, this is a lifting position. Inhale, reverse triangle. So straighten that front leg, draw your right palm up towards the sky. Exhale, high to low plank or chaturanga, whatever feels best for you. You're coming down to your low plank, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog, draw that chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Again, take a moment. Making sure that your hips are level, flexing those toes, pushing through those hands. Exhale, low lunge, draw it through. Stacking that knee over your ankle. Draw your right palm down into the mat, left arm goes high. Engaging that back leg. Great, finding that twist. It's much easier for me on this side. Really creating that space as you push down, lifting and elongating. Exhale, come back to your low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, spin open. Really sinking into that front leg. Tucking this right tailbone under as you're twisting through your glute. Your arms go out to the side. Wrists are over your ankles. Shoulders are over your hips for alignment. Take a big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. So reach towards that front of the room and then tick tock those arms to six and 12. Really opening up. Your right hip goes underneath, twisting. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through that front leg. Bump that right hip forward. Gaze up towards your palm. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, or hold your high plank, whatever feels good for you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a big unifying breath in. Exhale, release and let it go. So inhale, gaze forward. <clears throat> Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, chair, sink low. Toes up. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, the chair. Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga or high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left, right, light leg high. Exhale, low lunge, draw it through. Inhale, simple twist, ground in through your left, right palm goes high. Exhale, come back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side, excuse me. Exhale, extended side angle. Taught a lot of classes today. <sighs> Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank, whatever feels good for you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, right palm down, left arm high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, spin open. Exhale, extended side angle, reach until Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Make sure those knees pop off. Squeeze those glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale, release, let it go. Take an inhale, come to the top of your mat and have a seat. All right, I hope we're all feeling really good. I'm gonna grab a sip of my tea. 
And now we're gonna add some more oils into this practice, okay? So we got our heart rates up a little bit, we got moving. Um, every yoga class that I teach, especially Romeo yoga, is different. It's depending on the mood. And I feel like right now a lot of people need recovery. They need to set personal space for sleep. So that is what I'm trying to do. So we got our heart rates up a little bit. Maybe you got a little bit sweaty. Maybe it was a little bit challenging. Um, all right, so next what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start to take things down, okay? So next we're gonna take the oil piece in common. Again, if you don't have this, grab your lavender. Grab something for you that's grounding. Um, you wanna stay away from something like peppermint or orange because those are like citrusy and they have a lot of, you know, you think about mint, it's gonna wake you up. Right now we're trying to set this space, okay? And again, as you're doing this, if you wanna dim the lights, put your diffuser close to you, whatever feels good for you, remember this is your space, okay? So again, I'm a huge fan of oils on the crown of my head. So, two or three drops up here, a couple drops in my hand, and let's breathe, all right? Create this space, just moving your hands together. And even when you're doing this, bring it close to your face, you can smell the oils. I've got peace and common cranking in here, so it is very, very, very chilly. Chill, excuse me. So you can just bring your hands just simply like this in front of your face, you'll smell them as we sit here and breathe them in. But again, if you really wanna get that full effect, cup your fingers over your nose and breathe in. Just as another fun little tidbit, if you guys have an essential oil that you love and you're wearing your mask out in public, I was just thinking about this, put a drop in your mask um, and when you're outside, because they can be frustrating and irritating and whatever, you don't want your bad breath, you have the essential oil in there. So if you get something calming, it actually may be very relaxing. So just think about that for you, okay? So let's take another big breath in. Exhale, release, and let it go. And I want you to take one hand to your heart and one to your stomach, okay? I want everyone to close their eyes and just take a moment. Feeling your connection of your body and your mind with your breath, your heartbeat. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your stomach. You can feel the life force within you. Really surrendering into this space. Giving yourself some love and self-care. Part of self-care is sleeping and good nutrition and water and all positive things. But unfortunately, we tend to let self-care kind of go by the wayside. But right now, to keep our immune system strong, self-care is so important. You've got to take care of yourself. I totally understand it's hard, but just try to do like an 80-20 of like really making sure your body is hydrated really make sure you're having good foods in your body, really make sure you're getting your antioxidants, and really make sure you're getting a great night's sleep. Um, it's so important for you, just your overall mental health and well-being. And especially for those out there who are homeschooling or working from home or everything that you're doing, just it doesn't matter. Even if you're, if, let's say you're quarantined by yourself and need that space, we all need to set that space for ourselves. Okay, one more big breath in. Exhale, release, and let it go. All right, let's come back and lay on our backs. I'm gonna turn sideways. Slowly, always flex your toes back towards your face, draw your abdomen in, and then slowly lower down to your mat with control. Draw your left leg up, stacking your knee towards the ceiling, your foot on the mat, and draw your right foot over for figure four stretch. I want you to draw that ankle over your thigh. Now you have options. You can take your hand and gently push this right knee out. This might be a big opener for that inside of your hip. It may or may not be, but just honor whatever space you're in. If you don't need it, then move your hand. And then I want you, if this, is, if this is a stretch for you, fantastic. But we always want to look to actually open up our hips and keep the mobility that we need. So I want you to draw your knee up towards your chest, flexing that foot back. 
And then I always reach between my legs and draw the, grab onto the back side of my thigh. This enables me, okay, as I'm pushing, I can push my right knee out. This enables me to draw my knee back towards my chest. I am controlling how much I am opening up. You know, also often it feels better to come around to the outside of your, your leg. Really surrendering and making sure your back stays connected to the earth. And I encourage you to close your eyes throughout this practice. We're not doing any balance right now. So we honor the space for yourself. Drawing that back, opening up that hip. You'll really feel it on the outside of that right hip and your glute. Take a big breath. Exhale, draw it a little closer. And then draw your knees back towards each other, making sure to balance out your spine a little bit before you switch out your legs. Again, maybe a happy baby. Or just draw your knees towards your chest, give yourself a little hug. We all need a little hug. And drop that right foot down, knee goes up towards the ceiling. Left foot comes over. Again, honoring that each side is different. You might be tighter inside this hip, so if you need to put that left hand there to push open that knee, go ahead and do it. Don't over push. We don't want anything to tweak. We want this to feel strengthening and lengthening, really opening. We want to elongate our body. And then draw that knee back towards your face. Making sure to keep your head on the mat. If you feel like you have to lift up like that, let go. Okay, I don't want that for you. You can just actually, you can either flex your foot straight up towards the ceiling or just draw your knee back. Forget about your hands. I want to make sure you have the connection to the earth. It's not hurting anything. You really want to just open up that hip and that glute on the left side. <clears throat> Drawing it back to your chest. Everyone has different flexibility. And just as a little tidbit of information, um, we can hold a lot of emotions in our body. And we hold a lot of emotions and personal trauma in our hips. So sometimes as you work deeper into your hips, you will notice that either you will just cry or you'll feel a release, or sometimes you just actually can't do anything with your hips because you have so much going on. But honor the fact that your body actually holds on to this. And the best way, that's why yoga is so amazing, it helps us to actually detoxify these parts of our body and open up, let go of everything so our body isn't holding on to negative. We want our body to hold on to positivity and live a vital life and actually incorporating the oils. Oh, I feel so relaxed. Helps as well. It helps with mindset, with antioxidant levels, and just general stress. Draw that knee back. Okay, release, come back to center. Again, let's roll rock from side to side, just because it feels good. And then we're gonna rock and roll up again. And I actually wanna do one psoas exercise. This is something I did with a bunch of kids today who I teach on a swim team. And I think it's so important because it's reminding us. So just in case you guys aren't aware of this, if you are a swimmer, um, you're constantly keeping your psoas muscle elongated, okay? It is a muscle, you can Google it, that goes from the front of your body to the back of the body. And it's actually really, really, really hard to manipulate. Um, my chiropractor has to go in through my stomach and actually push to actually help it relax. A lot of people with lower back pain end up having a tight psoas muscle, right? Because it becomes shortened. It becomes shortened from sitting. All right, so what we need to do is we need to elongate it. This is true for people who are sitting all day long. It is also true for my children who row, um, they're rowers in a boat, um, people who are bicyclists. These things get shortened. So we need to make sure we're really elongating this muscle. And one of the best ways to do this for yourself, okay, is to actually um, stretch out from this front side. So I'm gonna show you. You're gonna take your right leg forward, okay? It doesn't matter, actually. I'm taking my right to show you guys. And I wanna make sure that my heel is actually in front of my knee. All right, at this point, you can see there's a little bit, I'm pushing a little bit into that right leg. This might be enough of a stretch for you. You can actually put your left hand here and you can feel it opening up, okay? If that's good for you, that's fantastic. You will notice that my right hand is on my leg. It is not necessarily 
to actually force anything forward. It is actually to make sure that I drive my knee out a little bit. I want to make sure I'm not collapsing into myself. I don't want my knee to come across my body. I want to stay open. So sometimes I'll just place it there. You can actually use it for pressure as well. But what I want you to do is sink into this posture, okay? And I can feel it shaking right now because my psoas has been really, really, really tight and I've been working on this. If your lower knee that you're on feels uncomfortable, you can stick a pillow or a mat or anything underneath it, so whatever feels good for you. But just really holding this, squeezing that glute, and opening up the front line of your body. You want to elongate this. And this can be a hard one. You do this a couple times throughout the course of the day. You might just start to notice some of that back pain dissipates since a lot of us are not able to get to our personal care. Um, like I'm a huge fan of acupuncture and chiropractor and obviously right now I'm not have access to that, so I need to utilize what I have in my space. So then I come back, I come back up to my knee and I wanna straighten that front leg and flex my toe back towards my face to reset. All right, so let's switch on our legs. Again, my right knee is down, my left knee is in front of me, my heel is in front of my knee. Okay, again, this might feel enough for you. Um, <clears throat> my pain is coming from the left side of my body, so we'll see how this one feels. And then I lean into it. Again, my hand on my front leg is more so just to open up my knee so I'm not sinking into that space. It's more just to remind myself, no pressure, I don't need it. And then my right hand, again, you can put there, you can actually feel the elongation coming from that front mu muscles in your body. It's a big muscle that's funky. It's kind of interesting to go Google it and see it. So as I sink low into this, taking those deep breaths as you breathe, I feel a little shaky. And then slowly come back, straightening that front leg, flexing those toes back towards your um, excuse me, towards your face. And then come back to your knees. And we're going to slow it all the way down. All right. So before we come on to the mat, I did not tell you guys to bring this oil joy, but I'm actually going to put it on. We need to create a space of feeling joyful in our lives. And I have been using this every day in my heart for the last two years. I take a couple drops. Okay, I, again, always breathe it in. And then I always rub it over my heart. Normally I do it under my shirt. I'm rubbing it all over my heart. Now I'll rub it on the top of my head, behind my ears, any of your points that you would normally put perfume on, okay? I have friends who wear this as perfume. It does have a floral smell to it, and sometimes it, it's hard for people to get used to it. But I'm telling you, if you use it consistently for 30 days, you will start to notice a huge difference. It changes the vibration of how our body works. And for anybody who's into energy work or yoga practices, will understand the vibrations of our body are very important and keeping them all in the line is very important and the oils can actually help to do that. All right, so we put a little joy in our heart. And then for you who have this, which I would highly encourage everyone getting it, um, it is called White Angelica. They're like little angel wings. Now, I'm not particularly religious. I'm extremely spiritual. And White Angelica has very uplifting, positive properties. I'm actually going to put on my shoulders. But it's actually been referred to as your angel wings to protect you in your space. And I find that to be so lovely because, listen, we are all in a space together. We're sharing spaces together. We're on Zoom calls all the time. This is our new normal. But, you know, we still need to make sure that we're not taking on everyone's energy. And some people are actually empiopaths. They feel everyone's energy. You can use white angelica to kind of create this shield for yourself that protects your space. Okay? Especially for people who are working, who are like first responders and healthcare workers. Anybody who's out there correcting them, creating their space so that they can keep themselves sacred is super important. Okay? And I want you to use this, use this tonight before you sleep just to calm yourself down, give you this space. You are creating this space of sleep. You're creating an aura for yourself to have this for tonight. All right, let's calm and lay down. Flexing those toes again. You can show off your lights. Letting your toes go heavy out to the right and left side. Really taking up space. 
Any, ask, any last minute fidgets out? Maybe drawing your shoulder blades together under your back. Relaxing your jaw. Relax the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let it go. Dropping that jaw down. Relax your eyes and the space between your brows, your third eye center, your seat of intuition. Sometimes we hold our faces so tight. Try to relax your face. Squinch it up for a second, then let it all go. Take a big inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Let the ground support you. Maybe you even feel like your body is sinking into the ground. It's protecting you and giving you a hug. Always know that the earth is there to support you. Your practice is there to support you and your breath is there to support you. I love laying here and seeing the bubbles, listening to the bubbles on my diffuser so common it's like being by a brook letting this space take you to your happy place to feel at peace and this is your practice so feel free to stay in shavasana for as long as you want but if you need to continue on with your evening before you get into bed Start putting little movements in your toes and your wrists, drawing your head from right to left. Taking a long body stretch, your hands over your head, toes pointed, really open up, take a big inhale. Exhale, relax, let it go. Oh, I just did a big yawn. Then inhale, slowly roll to your right or left side using your bicep as a pillow into fetal pose, creating that space, taking your opposite hand, putting it over your heart. Thanking yourself for coming. Tell yourself that you're amazing and you're strong. And then slowly with control, roll up to the top of your mat. Your eyes closed. Draw your hands to your knees, your palms touching your knees. Sit high into your sits bones and draw your navel back towards your spine. You really wanna make sure you're engaged at this point. Draw your, excuse me, shoulders up towards your ears for a moment and then peel them down your back again, really opening up that, that space. Take a big unifying breath in. Exhale, release and let it go. Draw your hands to your heart center. Again, your right to your left, your left to right, really pushing them together. Pushing that thumb into your heart, feeling your heartbeat. Take a big unifying breath in. Exhale, release and let it go. Again, drawing your thumbs to your third eye center, elbows up to the side. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, we bow and say, Namaste. Namaste, everybody. I appreciate you guys all tuning in tonight. I hope you had a super relaxing class. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, again, I can post the oils that I used uh, throughout this practice. I was going to use Valor. Um, and I did not use it, but I'm actually going to stick a couple drops on my feet right now before I go upstairs. 
to get it into my bloodstream, into my system, because I'm going to get ready for bed soon. Um, remember to use your breath. Remember to use your oils. Remember to take a time out. And remember that self-care is the utmost of importance for everybody right now. So I wish you guys all a wonderful evening. And um, I will see you again next time we do one of these classes. Namaste. Instagram friends.